We're here in La Rose, Louisiana, Lafouche Parish, to inspect a cast iron water pipe that was installed in 1958. It was the first pipeline to be provided with polyethylene encasement uh, to protect against an aggressive soil, and we're here to see how it's holding up after 63 years in service. My name is Greg Horn with the Ductile Iron Pipe Research Association. We're here in Lafouche Parish, Louisiana to inspect a four inch cast iron pipe installed in 1958. This is one of our uh, polyethylene encasement investigations, one of more than a hundred that we've conducted throughout the United States. This is the eleventh time we've inspected this particular pipeline because this was the first pipeline to be provided with polyethylene encasement as a means to mitigate against an extremely aggressive soil environment. The excavation of the pipeline is going to be done by a crew from the Lafouche Parish Water District Number 1 who's been extremely cooperative in the many investigations we've done on this pipeline over the years. First step, we want to expose approximately five to six feet length of the pipe. We're going to remove soil around its full circumference so that we can get a good idea of what the film looks like after 63 years in service. During the excavation, we're going to procure a soil sample from right next to the pipe and we'll take it back to the lab uh, to confirm its, its corrosivity. But we know from experience here that this soil is extremely aggressive. We're going to test it for resistivity, pH, redox, uh, sulfides, chlorides, and we'll evaluate the moisture content. The next step in the inspection is the removal of the polyethylene encasement. We start by wrapping tape around both ends of the pipe right before it goes into the soil. This facilitates the removal of the film from the pipe. It also facilitates the replacement of the film with new V-Bio enhanced polyethylene once the investigation is done. Once the polyethylene encasement is removed, we typically see a pipe that has some oxidation on the outside of it. We're going to clean the pipe with wire brushes and scrapers uh, to see whether this uh, oxidation that we see is superficial. Then we will sound the pipe with a geologist hammer looking for any places where graphitic corrosion may have occurred. The results of this investigation are outstanding. As with every other investigation we have conducted on this pipe, the only evidence of corrosion has proven to be superficial oxidation with no pitting or graphitic corrosion evident. The outstanding condition of this pipe is particularly impressive considering the aggressive character of the soil that has surrounded the pipeline since 1958. The lab results show a low resistivity soil with conditions conducive to the growth of anaerobic bacteria, a high chloride content, and a water table that constantly intrudes into the pipe zone. Once the investigation is complete, we're going to replace the film with new V-Bio enhanced polyethylene to continue to protect the pipe for the many years of service it still has ahead of it. I like that gentleman. You did a good job, Jeff. We here at the Ductile Iron Pipe Research Association want to express our appreciation for Lafouche Parish Water District Number 1 for their outstanding cooperation with these investigations that we've done over the years. It's this combined learning experience that helps both of us, helps us understand what's important to our industry's customers and helps us learn uh, to provide better service in the future. For more information about this and other investigations that we've done, uh, be sure to visit our website at dipra.org.